right, here is the video review for Tobot Y uh, from the Tobot series. Now, I have uh, messed with some bike loans and I've messed with uh, some Dino, Dino Force, I think? Uh, uh, some South Korean toys because they've been making some good stuff. I have not yet messed with uh, the Tobot line at all. Um, all. Although I did have, was 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 the little dragon thing a Tobot? Car, car robot? I can't remember. Anyway, haven't messed with, with the bigger line proper. And uh, my friend Jared was cleaning out some stuff. And this guy looked cool. He's a cool, this is Tobot Y. He's a little blue card. Rolls really well, as you would expect from a toy aimed at a younger kid. Kind of a chunky uh, play school as Playmobil. Not Playmobil, but I mean, like, it's it's maybe more kind of a, like, almost looks like a Rescue Bots type vehicle mode. It's just a fun little kind of cartoonish version of a, of a car. And it's fun. It's fun to drive around. It's got a little symbol there on the back. And there's a slot here. For a key, and I think uh, again, I haven't seen this show, so I'm sure this activates something. And may, there may be some versions where this does, in fact, activate something. On here, it's just a slot. You can put the key in the slot, but it doesn't. It just slides in. There's no mechanism inside there, nor is there intended to be, because there, there's no. Uh, there's not, it's not like the mechanism is missing, because there's nothing it would activate anyway. But you can put the key in the back there if you want. And transforming him, you just kind of come back here. I uh, pop the uh, the sides out a little bit so you can uh, lift this up like that. And you can see the hood kind of lifts up while you're doing that. Uh, you got to untab the, uh, the the legs from the, uh, the the wheels here. This was not as difficult earlier. There we go. Just kind of wiggle them out, open the doors up a little bit, and bring this down. I split the legs and the little gun tabs in between the legs there and it's just a, a basic plastic gun it's mostly it's uh, more, most of the detailing is the tabs to hold it into the vehicle mode but uh just gun shaped object um, and then you bring the legs down and the feet down like that just flip them down there and there and then up here bring the uh, lift this up you bring the uh chest plate down and then you can bring the wheels up like that, and then bring the arms down like that. Uh, the head pulls up straight up out of the out of there, and then these panels. Once you once you get this pushed down, these panels rotate back to kind of fill in the chest. Uh, this panel, oh, that actually is already folded up. I would say this panel folds up behind there. And you can angle that. You can bring this. Uh, you can angle it out more like a cape if you want, kind of like uh, uh, crosshairs from the movie. Uh, you can leave it flat. Uh, from the front, it looks a little better leaned back, but it does make him a little bit more back heavy if you have it sitting out like that. So that's probably the best way for support to leave it, but it does kind of give him a big square uh, back plate in the silhouette. So this little engine block becomes the uh, the chest plate there. The head does not rotate. But it's a cool little visored faceplate, and they can hold the gun. Uh, you got a swivel up there where the arm goes, and then elbows, and a little bit of shoulder articulation. Uh, there's a waist swivel, which is was not expected, but a nice little feature. Uh, the legs can move out side to side, front to back. There's knees, and then the toes have a little bit of uh, ratcheting articulation there. But uh, it's not super poseable, but it's kind of a fun little robot, and it kind of reminds me of Trax. Now, the gun, you can see sits at a slight angle to the arm and that's because if you look at this the the hole in the hand it's not round or rectangular it's kind of this weird triangle so when you put the po the post for the gun uh if you look at it, it does not line up straight going straight down with in line with the arm it kind of goes off to the side and you can kind of see how that this bottom piece the square is kind of angled just slightly off the center so the gun needs held at a, a slightly awkward angle but um you know, what are you going to do? So, yeah, it's it's cheap. It wasn't, I mean, it, it's basic. I don't think they're super expensive. I, um, it's a basic little toy. And it's fun, It's super fun to roll around. Like, just in, in car mode, it's chunky. And it is fun. It's really fun to room him around and, and roll him around. He rolls very easily. He's big enough to kind of hold in your hand. And just roll them all over whatever you want. The dog, the couch, the floor, your desk at work, wherever. He rolls. He's fun. So there is Tobot Y. Oh, real size comparison real quick. Um, 
So I found him this hint when I was looking for other stuff earlier. So here he is with uh, the old Reveal the Shield Jazz. Actually, this is the United. Was that the line he came out in over in Japan with the better paint? But there he is next to a Deluxe Transformer. A Deluxe from yesteryear. They've gotten a little smaller, but just to give you an idea of the chunk of him. But there is Tobot Y. He's fun. There's, there are other versions. There's, there's one that I think combines. There's one that's a smaller version that's more, slightly more complex. But for what he is, there's mini and large, and I don't know. <laughs> They've got so many different, uh, like all, all the main characters generally get like three different sizes and, and various difficulties. And this is basic and fun, and, and I like him. 